Hello and welcome to Let's Play Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis with me, Mr. Mike Clackable. In the last episode, we found a lost dialogue of Plato. Here it is, look, right in our inventory. All this wonderful information here, here, and some more right here. Um, and from that, we gathered we needed three stones. I had a quick look, and it does say somewhere. I've been reading the lost dialogue myself, you see. And, um, where is it? There we are. It says, uh, we could only open the gates of the kingdom with special stones. And, um, a bit more information here about them. But we need three of them. Uh, we have one from that secret tomb of the king. Uh, and so, we talk to Sophia. She says she knows a guy called Trottier in Monte Carlo who also has a stone. So that's why we're in Monte Carlo. Speaking to Trottier, we tried to do a seance with him, but it didn't go very well. So here we are. Hmm, what to do next? Uh, I did notice that we probably need Indiana Jones to help, because he asked quite a tricky question about how many fingers he's holding up, and of course, she's not a proper psychic, is she? So what's this fuse box? Can we open it? Aha! Circuit breaker. Can we... What? what would that do? It's the main power switch for the room. Right. Okay. So maybe... Oh, what's the cabinet got? Can we open the cabinet? Aha! Flashlight. We're, let's take that, please. It's a flashlight. Mm-hmm. So basically, we've got to get Trottier back in here, do another seance with him, possibly break the lights and have a... Oh, I don't know. Let's try not to be so stupid this time. Uh, what's this bed? Can we open the bed? It doesn't seem to open. Pull it. I can't move it. There must be a sheet under here. Yeah. Can we use it? Can we just have like a little nap? Oh, we can. Now is not the time. Okay. But we have got... Oh, do we have to pretend to be a ghost? Hang on. Now is not the time. Okay. Let's go get Trottier back in here. Anything else we can look at? See, I'm not used to playing point and clicks, so this <laughs> maybe wasn't wasn't a very good idea to LP this game straight away, but like I said before, it would be rubbish if I already knew what to do. Uh, maybe she has some ideas of what to do. I just have to remember to look really carefully. I'm sorry, Indy. Well, that's okay. That's okay. Uh, what do we do now? Let's try again. Yeah, I agree. Let's try again. Let's go get him back. I've now got a flashlight and a torch uh, and a bedspread, bed sheet. Can we go? Come on. Can we leave? Thank you. Right, Trottier. Oh, there he is. There. Talk to him. Talk to him. Monsieur Trottier. Well, hello again, Doctor Jones. How hello can again. I help you? Um. We want another go. Madam Sophia wants another seance. Well, <laughs> she's a charming woman. <laughs> so, I'll do it. Please, lead the way. Why is... Why everyone on this game are either rude or they're dirty old men? You dirty old man. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Excellent. Okay. Is he here? Yeah, but, um, let's keep him busy. Keep him busy. I'm going to try something. All right, then. Give me a minute while I set him up. Okay, so we should still be in control Thank you for of giving me another opportunity, Indy. monsieur. Do you still have the key? Yes, here it is. Let a smile be your umbrella. Oh, man, the sound went weird. Blah, 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 blah. Sound went really weird, then. Okay. Let's turn the lights off. Can we... Can we break it? The lights! What happened to the lights? Uh, I think Nurab Sal is trying to signal us! <laughs> Here we go! Let's uh, talk to Trottier. As a ghost. Hmm, is he trying to scare me by wearing that sheet on his head? Dr. Jones, if you please! <laughs> Oh no, it didn't work. How does that not work? <laughs> that disguise is so, so good. 
That sheet looks ridiculous. Really, Dr. Jones? <laughs> what do I do? Do I turn... Well, madame, I've seen enough. Oh, crap. It was entertaining, despite the interruptions. <laughs> Au revoir. No, don't au revoir. Turn the lights on, will you please? <sighs> oh, goddamn. You lost him again, Indy. I'm sorry. Great move, Jones. It did seem like a good idea. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Stop acting like it's Halloween. <laughs> on second thought, maybe you should find a way to spruce up that costume. Your ghost act almost worked. Oh, okay. Okay, right, so obviously that's the right thing to do. We're getting somewhere here. We just need to spruce up our costume, eh? Okay, well let's leave. We might be able to um, find some other stuff somewhere else. The door is closed. Oh, well, then open the door, you silly billy. Let's go, yeah, can we go to the city? No? Nothing interesting over here. Oh, really? Damn. Let's go to the main entrance then. Can we go the in there? The door is closed. Okay, we're open. It's open. <laughs> oh, it just leads straight back there. Did you find our man, Indy? Where's Trottier? Uh. This isn't working. Let's move on. Okay. We could talk to a collector in Algiers who might know something. Omar Al Jabbar. Get a cab and I'll join you. Omar Al Jabbar, what a name. Okay, we go to Algiers. The door is closed. Oh, you asked for. Uh, the door is closed. We go to Algiers. I better put the flashlight back. Oh. Okay. I better put the sheet back. Fine. We'll try to go here, see what we can find, see what we can see. Yeah, you go away, Trotty. Wait for me! Okay, Algiers it is. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh, are we going to shoot the knife? No, no, no. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. City streets. Beggar. Lots of stuff to do here, it seems. Hello there. Ah, a prosperous American. Uh, hello. We need to find Omar Al-Jabbar. You know where to find Omar Al-Jabbar? Omar is one of my best customers. His shop is on the other side of the marketplace. Oh, thank you. Very useful, old man. What are you doing here on the streets? I'm a beggar, Effendi. It is my job to be here. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food and I'll give you a free gift. Hmm. How's business? I've seen worse. Today I'm offering a discount. Give yeah, me okay, food we've and heard I'll that. give you a free gift. But I don't have any... I don't have any food, or do I? You ever hear of Atlantis, old man? Atlantis? Hmm, Atlantis. Hmm. No. Now, let me get back to work, Yeah, please. okay. Bugger off, then. See what these people want. I don't want to disturb them. They look kind of busy. <laughs> they look kind of uh, dangerous, I think. Alright. What else have we got here? That's the dusty path back to the airport. Let's go this way. Let's talk to the crowd. Oh, where are they? Come on. Oh, that was just, I'm sure that was just an option. Right, let's talk to the knife thrower. Excuse me. Yes? Uh, hello. Uh, nice knives. Nice knives. Yes, they were a gift from my father, the greatest knife thrower in North Africa. I'm trying to follow his example. But alas! No one will volunteer to be my assistant since the accident. Oh man, um... Do you know where to find Omar Al-Jabbar? He has a shop nearby, behind the marketplace. Sorry to bother you. No bother. I just wish a volunteer would step forward to assist me. Sophia, I think it's your time to shine, or possibly die. Excuse me. What? I think you should volunteer to help the knife thrower. No you don't, Jones. Go on. Think about international relations, exactly. Think about the effect on international relations. I'm thinking about the effect on my health. 
Come on, assist the guy, will you? Nope, nope, nope. All right, she's having none of it. Please, it's perfectly safe. Oh, sure. I wouldn't trust that man to cut carrots. You're not really looking. Observe that superb technique. Oh, all right. Oh, gosh, she's actually doing it. Oh. Gee, knives make me nervous. Is she going to die? Can, can she actually die? Uh. Right, I've got to talk to him then again. I don't know why we're doing this. We need to find Excuse Omar Al-Jabbar. Yes? I'd make a wonderful assistant. It's refreshing to see such spirit. Oh. But my assistant must be a woman. Show business, you know. Oh, crap. All right, we've got to play as her. I thought I was. Listen. What? Can I play as you? Uh. Uh. The man's desperate. He needs your help. Is this your idea of a friendly nudge? Just do it. Please, it's perfectly safe. You never give up, do you? I just think you should learn something about the local culture, up close. You call this cultural? I don't know. Those knives look dangerous. Why can't I play as her? Oh, mm, let's talk to the audience. No, oh, wait, I just... Alright, fine. Let's just carry on then. Right, we'll come back to you, knife thrower, and you will do it, Sophia. You will. Oh, we're going to the back alley. Things could get seedy. <gasps> that must be Omar Al-Jabbar. Looks kind of cool. Excuse me. What can I do for you, Effendi? Hello, Effendi. I like your fez, if that is a fez. Are you Mr. Omar Al-Jabbar? I am but a humble shopkeeper. My name is unimportant. Why are you being like that for? Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Many a fool dreams of the Lost Kingdom. How may I know your intentions are serious? Uh, we have the dialogue. Um... What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't think I've got anything. We have the Lost Dialogue, which tells where it is. I've got a PhD. Will that do? <laughs> you have quite a sense of humor, I see. Can we show him? Uh... Use the thingy with shopkeeper. Oh, give the book. Give to shopkeeper. Excuse me. I think this may interest you. This could no, be a mistake. Thank you. He... I'm not interested in books. Oh, so say so he might steal it. Uh, all right, fine. Let's have a look at the uh. Let's have a look at the crockery. Big pots. Smash them. I don't think that'll work. Okay, fine. What's in the items? It all looks pretty worthless. Oh, there's a mask. What's that mask? Funny. Looks like that ghost we saw in your study. That ghost was Nurab Sal. Oh! Can we take it? Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Start using the keyboard. Can we just, like, take it then? This thing is spooky. Can we use it? I don't think this is the time or place. Fine, right. Look, we want to buy this, or can we just take it? Excuse me again. Yes? Um, I'm... How much for the mask, exactly? How much for the mask? You can take the worthless thing. <gasps> it's getting away my best customers. Oh, uh, lovely. Thank you. Okay, what about these pots? I just saw pots. Look at pots. Open pots. It doesn't seem to open. Can we break the pots? Uh, oh, what's that poster? Can we decipher it? It says, drink Elliot's rose water in Arabic. Uh, oh, maybe it's <laughs> not that useful then. Anything else that uh, sticks out? What about up here? No. Oh, what's that? Urns. Can we look in them? Little pots. Okay, lots of pots. I I get that. I don't think that'll work. Uh, no, I don't want to give the urns. No, stop that. Okay, so you're definitely not going to help us. Excuse me again. Yes? I'm really interested in Atlantis. And I really need some reason to take you seriously. I'm not sure I know what you mean. For example, it is said that three stone discs were needed to open the gates of Atlantis. Show me one of those if you can. 
Oh! We did have one of those, didn't we? I saw a stone disc once, but someone stole it. That's too bad. I don't discuss the Lost Kingdom with amateurs. Okay, sorry about that. Just a quick cut. Uh, doorbell. Anyway, what was I saying? I was saying, right, this is the plan. This is what I think the plan should be. We we'll use this mask back at the seance, because that will definitely be quite deceiving. Get the stone disc or whatever it is off Trottier, come back, and then talk to this guy again. So that's the plan. Let's go. Thank you for giving me that mask, by the way. Very kind of you. Um, right, but, mm, we don't want to do that now. We have more important things to do. Come on, let's get out of this place. Maybe, maybe Indy has his own plane. I mean, how does he keep, how does he afford all these these plane trips? Anyway, back to Monte Carlo. You find Trottier, and I'll do the rest. Okay, we'll do. Uh, where is he? Got to wait for him to walk past. Ah, oh, there he is. No, no. No, come back here. Oh, damn you. Why is everyone so antisocial? I don't like... I'm never going to Monte Carlo. There he is. Oh. No, come on. <laughs> it's very difficult to click them. There. Come on. I don't want to talk to a stranger. Very, very chirpy music, though. Come on, Trottier. Trottier. Monsieur Trottier? Well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? Dr. Jones, we want another seance, please. Madam Sophia wants another seance. Well, <laughs> she is a charming woman. <laughs> So, I'll do it. Please, lead the way. Okay. Let's try this again. We're going to do it this time. We're going to be the proper Neurab cell. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Let's do this. Okay. Is he here? Yes, 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 yes. Keep him busy. I'm going to try something. All right, then. Give me a minute while I set him up. Oh crap, did I grab the bed sheets? <gasps> I didn't take the bed sheets again, damn it. Thank you for giving me another opportunity, monsieur. Do you still have the key? Yes, here it is. Leave no stone unturned. Quickly, 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 get the bed sheet. And pick up the Now is not the time. Shut up! Pick up the flashlight. We need to do this. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Okay. So use blah, 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 blah. use the circuit breaker. Turn the, the lights, lights off. What happened to the lights? Uh, I think Narab Sal is trying to signal us. We're going to do it this time. Use the bed sheets. Use the flashlight. Use the mask. Oh, I feel the presence of Narab Sal approaching us. Ooh. Aye. <laughs> well done, Indy. Looks oh, like we have one of the three stones. Excellent. Let's hope we can find a way to use it. I'll bet Trottier got it from Al Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's head for North Africa and find out if I'm right. Fine. I'll hail a cab while you get changed. Excellent. Look at that. We got the sunstone. It's a stone disc with solar images carved into it. Which matches this thing right here. If I'm correct. Oh, I never find the right page. Uh, next one. Here we go. Uh, at many outposts, a sunstone sufficed if sunset made the tall horns red. So we have a sunstone, we need a moonstone, and also a worldstone, and then we'll be set to go into Atlantis. Lovely. But I think we're going to go to Algiers next episode. So until then, thank you for watching, and goodbye.